Welcome to lesson 2 of Budgie Anatomy. We call them our feather friends. Isn't it a shame though? You don't know what a feather is. What's its purpose? How important it is to your so-called feather friend. This lesson is about feathers. Feathers are the main reason we call them birds. Bats, for example, is a kind of mammal that can fly, but they are not birds because they have no feathers. Chickens and ducks lost their ability to fly, but they are still birds because they have feathers. Before we discuss feathers any further, I highly recommend you to watch the first lesson about budget typography to, to understand the parts we are talking about. So how important is your bird's feathers to him? Feathers enable budgies to regulate their temperature by providing insulation. They provide a degree of waterproofing and serve as physical protection and are used in courtship and communication. They provide camouflage and of course the feathers allow them to fly. Bird's feathers are designed to be light. But very strong, flexible, but very tough. Birds need their feathers to protect their body. When it's cold, feathers trap air underneath. And muscles connected to the feathers allow a bird to fluff itself up to entrap more air. When birds are hot, they compress the feathers to eliminate these heat trapping pockets of air. Many birds apply oil to the feathers from a gland that is located at their rump, which is called uropegial gland. The gland secretes an oil that the bird squeezes out with its bill and then applies it to its feathers for waterproofing and also for inhibiting the growth of fungi and bacteria. You can see budgies rubbing their rump after a bath to apply the oil to the feathers. Seeing how important the feathers are, let's learn more about them. There are different types of feathers, each with its own purpose. But before we discuss them, let's see the anatomy of the feather. What parts do feathers have? What is the structure that makes the feather? Feathers are made out of keratin. As I've told you in the first lesson, feathers have a central shaft the smooth, unpigmented base which extends under the skin into the feather follicle. The part that goes under the skin is called the quill or calamus. The pointy end of the feather is called the inferior umbilicus. This is the hollow opening, where when the feather was growing, it received nourishment. The portion above the skin is termed the rachis from which the smaller branches on each side of the ratches extend. And these set of filaments are called barbs. This portion of the feather that has barbs is called the vein. In the larger feathers, these barbs have two sets of microscopic filaments called barbules. Barbules have hooklets, which hook the barbules together, like a zipper, forming a tight, smooth surface. These maintain the shape of the feather. Without these strong linkages, the feather would not be able to withstand the air resistance during flight. The barbs or hooklets may become separated from each other. If this occurs, 
the bird can reattach them while preening. You can see how the bird can reattach the bars as I do it right now with my own hand. At the base of the feathers, there are often barbs that are not hooked together. These are called downy barbs, or the after feather. They look soft and fluffy, providing most of the insulation by trapping air close to the bird's warm body. Feathers are not distributed evenly across your budgie's body. There are cracks. The easiest way to see where do your budgie's feathers grow is by looking at small chicks that their feathers have just started to grow. You can clearly see some bold areas, which will disappear when the feather opens out and cover these areas. Now what do I mean by saying that a feather opening out? Well, when a feather first emerges from the skin, it is encased in a waxy sheath. As it grows out, this sheath breaks down, or is preened or rubbed off by the budgie. To allow the feather to open out. Do you know these little spikes that usually are easy to see on your budgie's face and head? These are called pin feathers. These pin feathers should open up in a couple of days when the sheath is broken to allow the feather to open out. If your budgie has a companion, you can see them preening each other as well. Which brings us to our next topic, molting. Molting is when your bird start losing his feathers and grow new ones, which start out as pin feathers like we have just discussed. At this stage, the feather is still receiving nourishment from its shaft through its inferior umbilicus and it will bleed if broken. However, once it's fully grown, it will stop receiving nourishment and the shaft becomes empty and hollow as the feather becomes dead. If it is damaged at any point, it will fall down the next mold, allowing your bird to grow another one in its place. The process of molting requires a lot of energy. That's why you need to provide your budgie a lot of energy and nutrients, especially proteins. And you don't want your budgies breeding at this stage, because breeding does take a lot of energy as well and it will take your whole budgie's energy and make him really weak. Let's see the different types of feathers. Contour feathers are divided into flight feathers and feathers that cover most of the bird's body. The flight feathers can be found across your budgie's wings and tail. They are longer than other feathers and are connected to your budgie's bones by a connective tissue. Of course, these feathers are your bird's first protection mechanism, as they allow him or her to fly. The other contour feathers that cover his body are connected to muscles below the skin, which makes your budgie in full control of them, and he or she can raise or lower these feathers to regulate its body temperature. And of course for any other reason, like showing off in front of other budgies, or for his love to show her his beauty during mating. Semi-plume feathers Mostly hidden beneath other feathers on the body, semi-plumes have a developed central ratchet but no hooks on the barbules, creating a fluffy insulating structure. Phyloplume feathers Short, simple feathers with a few barbs at the tip of the shaft. Phyloplumes function like mammal whiskers to sense the position. In birds, they are important for the position of the contour feathers and they are found among the contour feathers and helps during the bird's flight. Bristle feathers Bristles are the simplest feathers with the stiff ratchets that usually lacks or have few barb branches at the base, most commonly found on the head, and they protect the bird's eyes and face. And now, after understanding how important feathers are to our little feathered friends, we can appreciate their beauty and function, and we can understand why our budgies spend so much time preening and cleaning their feathers.
For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.